Well, everyone, it is Thursday, November the 28th, 2024. I'm Doug. It is time once again to play some Wordle. Uh, today, uh, Shannon Tesaro, 1753, uh, writes in, for the next Wordle, could you please do skate? I would love if you could. Well, that is an interesting starting word. Um, I don't even remember if we've ever done skate, strangely enough. We might have, but it certainly hasn't been recently. So we're going to go ahead and go with skate today. Let's see what we get. And skate gets us, interestingly, of all the letters in skate, a letter K out of position. Very interesting. All right. Um, hmm. And as an aside, happy Thanksgiving for those in the United States who celebrate. Uh, hope all is well. All right, let's see here. Um, hmm, where to go next? Uh, with the letter K. How about, I was going to say the word chalk, but we tested the letter A. Um, what about, how about the word blink? Uh, kind of looking to see where we might try putting the letter K, but also get some great letters around it. Yeah, Blink actually works really well for that purpose. Um, feel quite good about that. You never know. Could be could be a, a, a really quick solve today. Um, is the answer today's puzzle the word Blink? No, it's not. But look at that. The letter K in position. So we know we've got that going for us. Now, a couple of observations. So we don't have the A, the E, or the I. I really, really doubt that the letter Y is involved. The only thing I could think of there would be kayak, but we've tested the A. So that tells me I feel comfortable that we have the O or the U. Now, you know what would be interesting is maybe a double O. What about um, crook is a possibility? Um, you know, unconventional word. But some, there's just something that seems interesting there. Um, we have a 50-50 chance of figuring out which vowel is a player here. I don't think there's an O and a U. Uh, and if there's an O, I think that there's a possibility of a double O. So I think that this actually makes sense. Unconventional, but I think it makes sense. So I'm going to go with it before I talk myself out of it. Is the answer to this puzzle the word crook? No, it's not. I'm <laughs> Again, the letter C came up. I just assumed I was good. But look, we had a lot of interesting information here. Um, okay, so there's only one O, and it is in position. So C blank, O blank, K. It's its own place. It's its own, uh, yeah, uh, visualization here. So I think if I can figure out what the correct second letter is, I'm in good shape, right? Um, C W Y P E F H C H O blank K. All right, so I'm triangulating on the C H because there's nothing else that fits as a second letter. Um, oh, wait a minute, double letter chalk. Chock full of goodness. Interesting word. But I think that that's got to be it. I think that I think that's clearly the only thing that we have here. Very interesting word for today. Super confident in this. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go with it. Is the answer to this puzzle the word chalk? Yes, it is. All right, fantastic. So interesting, fun little puzzle here. Uh, it was chock full of goodness, I guess you could say. Uh, there you go. Well, folks, thank you so much. Uh, again, uh, if my calendar is correct, it is, it's been a long week. Uh, it is Thanksgiving today in the United States, so if you're celebrating, uh, have a great turkey dinner or whatever you like to eat. Let me know what you enjoy for Thanksgiving in the comments. Fun little conversation. And, of course, your favorite starting words. Uh, now, the of course... The tradition, the day after Thanksgiving, 
uh, is Fearless Friday on this channel, which is tomorrow. And boy, it's not going to be easy. We're going to start with the word fluff. Uh, so tomorrow is Friday. We will start with fluff for Fearless Friday. And I hope that you will join us for that excitement. Folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Wordle.